Hello friends, so welcome. In this video I'm going to show you the one-to-one -one relationship in the Laravel. Now for that I have created the fresh Laravel application. And also I created the database with this name. So I run the migration and here we have. So if you go to the Laravel documentation in the eloquent relationship we have one-to-one. -one. And in here we have the example the user with with the phone and that I'm going to do. so let uh, go to the terminal and I'm going to say artisan make model for the phone and also make the migration and we need to go to the user model and add the phone method for relationship which is as one and in the phone class we need to add the user method relationship and here is going to this belong to the user okay so let's uh, open first the migration phone migration and in here I'm going to add dollar sign table and I'm sign it big integer for the user ID and it's going to be unique. Okay, so in the phones table the user ID is going to be unique and also add table. And here we need to add the user ID. And I'm not going to use the version ID and constraint because I'm going to show you in the end why I'm not using that. So let's do this first user ID and say references ID on the user on users table and I'm going to say on delete cascade. Okay. And let's add the number here. So let's say table and say string or integer for the number. Let's save it and go and run the migration. So artisan migrate okay go to the database and refresh and yeah we have the users here the phone here now to demonstrate to you let's go first to the user model and create the relationship here so create a method which is the name phone and return dollar sign of this as one and we need to add the phone model here okay let's save it also open the phone model now and before the method let's create the protected dollar sign fillable for the number okay and after that let's create the function which is the name user and here we return dollar sign this belong to the user class okay let's save it now make sure you in the phone you create the method user and here this the phone belong to the user instead in the user we say the user has one phone okay if you do that uh, we have the same thing here now i'm going to work with tinker to create user create a phone and make a relationship so let's open the 
Tinker, Artisan, Tinker, OK. And I'm going to say the Larsan user. And uh, I'm going to use the factory to create a new user. So factory. OK, sorry, fans. Factory. And say create. OK, now we have one user here. Now let's create also the phone. Dollar sign phone. We don't have factory for that because the phone needs the user ID. So let's say uh, new phone. OK, now we have the phone model. Let's add the number. So dollar sign phone. Okay, yeah, we have the number here. So let's say that a phone number it's going to be one to six. And now uh, I'm going to save this with user so dollar sign user the phone method relationship and say save and add the phone here dollar sign phone. Hit enter and you see we have new phone with number one to six. The user ID is one and the ID is one. And we have yeah, updated that and created that. Okay, now let's uh, make the reverse. Let's say dollar sign phone is going to be with new phone. And let me. Okay. Now also let's create the user, the last one user, and say user factory create. We have the user. Now how we can uh, assign the font of the user? We can say if I say the last one font user. We have the belong to eloquent relationship. Okay, let's say now the the phone and the user method relationship, and we have the associate uh, associate method, and here we need to add the user, associate the user, and save it. Okay, if I save, hit enter. Oh yeah, we need to add also the the num phone number. So let's say the phone number is going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine. Enter and now associate the phone to the user let's save true let's say now dollar sign phone user and we have the user from the phone okay we get the user from the phone let's say it now just the phone and we have the phone with the user id true the id is true and the number five six seven nine eight nine okay and also if i open here we have the database we have the phone now one which has the id one user id one and one to six the number the, the phone number two which has the id two user id two and the phone number is five to nine Okay, now let's uh, see if we can change the user ID because we have one to one relationship. So the user can have only one uh, phone. So if I make a relationship uh, change here to be true and it's save, 
we have an error. And for that, I'm not using the origin ID with constraint here, but I add in the migration, I add the unsignable integer and I add this unique here. Okay, because I want only one uh, font to have the user, not uh, too many fonts. Now let's say, I open the Tinker, let's clear this, and let's say the phone is going to be with phone and use the static method to find the phone with ID 1. Okay, yeah, we have, and let's say now the phone user ID to be 2, hit enter, and if I save now, for the time phone, save, we have error. Integrity constraint violation, duplicate entry 2, 4K phones, user ID, which is unique here. Okay. And if I come here and say remove, let's comment this and I'm going to add dollar sign table, version ID to be user ID and say constraint let's save it let's add it from here and around the artisan migrate fresh okay now open also again the tinker and the uh, artisan tinker do again the same thing so let's say uh, Let's create the user first, dollar sign. Or I'm going to say just the user. A factory. And create. Okay, we created one. Let's create another one. And now let's create the, the phone number. So let's say user with ID 1 user and user find the user with id1 okay and create a new phone let's say phone is going to be with new phone now the phone number is going to be one seven and let's say so the last one user phone save and add the phone here and yeah now if I open and refresh the database discard this yeah we have one phone and two users let's create another one so let's Come here and say the user find find the ID two and uh, create new phone and now the phone number is going to be one the nine and let's save the phone come here refresh go to the phones and we have two okay now let's see if we can change the the user ID in the phones because we change this okay let's uh, say dollar sign phone and phone find the ID one okay now let's say phone user ID and if I see here, the phone with ID 1 has the user ID 1. Let's change this a bit too. 
hit enter, let's save it. And we have true. If I come here and refresh, we have now the user with ID2 has two fonts. So let's, so let's uh, say other sign user. User uh, find and the ID two. Okay, now the the phone, the user phones, phone not phones. If I say the user phone, enter. We have the phone with the user ID two. And if I change now the user to find the user with ID1 and get the user phone here, we have null. So let's say the last one user and say user with and add uh, with phone. Okay, now we can say where the key is one and get the first one. We get this one. If I say, you see here the phone is null. If I say user where, where the key is two, we have the phone with ID 1 and user ID 2. So for that uh, I added the unique here. Okay friends, that's it how we can uh, make one-to-one -one relationship. So only the user can has only one phone and the phone belong to only one user. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. That's all the best.